The king and your parents are waiting for you, Dr. Guest. I'll be in the throne room as soon as I can. Let's get moving, dude. I don't have time for any side trips right now. Welcome back, Dr. Guest. We've been waiting for you. Everywhere he goes, he's Dr. Guest. I'm relieved to see you back, Leon. How did the ore mining expedition go? I have the ore with me right now, sire. Ah, brilliant. I knew you'd live up to your promise, Leon. Right then, Floreth and Murdoch, let's finish up work on the Liqueur Hope as quickly as possible. Yes, sire. Check it out, Mom. I got it. The real thing. Mind your manners, Leon. You are in front of the king. We will begin the final construction phase on the Liqueur Hope immediately, Your Majesty. Would Leon be able to come with us? We will need his expertise on site. Yes, by all means. Now, how should I deal with you? What? Deal with us? Now, now, there's nothing to be angry about. We have already conducted a full background check on your party. It fully matches the story you gave us. You are investigating the Sorcery Globe on behalf of the King of Cross. I see. So you had your doubts about us. But there's little doubting you now. In fact, I realize that you are more than worthy of my entire kingdom's trust. So, what would you like from us, Your Majesty? Ah, you'd like to cut to the chase. Very good. To make a long story short, I want your talents where I need them the most. At the frontline base, aiding our armed forces. The frontline base? As I'm sure you know, the base is currently under attack from an army of ghastly monsters. Any ship leaving for L would have to depart from the base. With things being as they are, I can't possibly do that for you right now. Without a powerful weapon on our side, forming a fleet capable of navigating to L is a near impossible task. So you want us to fend them off long enough for you to finish up the Liqueur Hope, is that it? Precisely. I knew the heroes from Cross would understand. You want to get to L? I want to get to L. It's the perfect arrangement, wouldn't you agree? We really don't have any other choice. Besides, we aren't the kind to sit and watch the monster hordes capture Liqueur in one fell swoop. We have a deal then. I'd like you to set off for the frontline base as quickly as possible. I'm counting on you, my friends.
Bunny! Come on, Bunny! Welcome to the Frontline Base HQ. I'm glad to have all of you joining us here. Thank you, sir. I believe the King of Lacour will continue to send us fresh soldiers from tomorrow onward. You were chosen for your strength and skill for this job. I'll need every ounce you've got for our efforts against that monster army. Are the odds against our side, sir? Why do you ask? This is the first time I've seen Lacour hire outsiders to help fight a war, sir. 
Uh, that, that's preposterous! We just want to teach the Monster Army a lesson they'll never forget! I'll leave it at that then, sir. Well, enough briefing for today. You'll be up bright and early tomorrow. Make sure you're ready to deploy by that time, people! Diaz was there, Claude. Did you see him? Yep, I sure did. Well, why aren't you happy to see him? No, I'm... I'm happy. But I'm kind of irritated at the same time. It's hard to explain. I see. I suppose you would be. Sorry, I'm acting weird. Oh, not at all. I think I might feel the same as you. Diaz left my village without so much as a goodbye two years ago. Everyone back home is still worried sick about him, and that irritates me, of course. But whenever I see him, I can't help but feel a little relieved. Reyna, I want to ask you something. What? Why did Diaz leave your village? Well... You really want to know? Long time no see. Or maybe not, come to think of it. I just met you at the armory contest. Can't stop bumping into each other, can we? I guess we can't avoid each other somehow. That or someone's playing a joke on us. Who? Me? Well, either way, I needed a new battle to fight. So this is where I wound up. You're here for the same reason, aren't you? I... Yeah, yeah, you're after the sorcery globe. Superb. But that quest has a little side effect of putting you in near constant combat, doesn't it? I hope you aren't gonna tell me that you're a pacifist. Not when you're doing what you're doing right now. Well, if I hadn't ended up on this planet in the first place... Claude? Um, sorry. I need to talk to Diaz for a moment. I've never seen him talk like this. I don't know what to say. What do you mean? I think Diaz knows the truth about you. I can sense it. He looked at you, and I think he's changed all of a sudden. Changed? I'll be right back, okay? Don't worry about me. I'm like a little sister to him. Sister? Well, you certainly look relieved, Claude. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Take care of Reyna for me. I know I can trust you with her. Huh? Diaz! I'm not as strong as you think, Diaz. Even if you think I am, I still can't protect Reyna. I don't have the confidence you have. What do you want from me? You think I'm what you would call strong, then? Huh? The question is, what is strength for? I'm strong because I wanted to protect myself. I can't use that strength to protect others. I realize that now. The strength to protect others? I thought that having companions would be nothing but a drag on me. But you're actually trying to protect all of your companions, with every ounce of your being, even if you get hurt in the process. Reyna is like a sister to me. The only one I've got now. Protect her for me.
Diaz wants me to protect her? Reyna. Claude? I still want to know why Diaz left your village, Reyna. It's because his family was attacked and killed by bandits. Dad, Mom, Cecile. Dias was the only one that survived. It was a miracle that he did. Ever since then, Dias has constantly blamed himself for not being able to save his parents or his sister. Why does he call you his sister? I was Cecile's closest friend before she died. We were like real life sisters. And Diaz was the closest thing I'd ever had to a big brother. Until that happened anyway. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. No, it's good that you did. I wanted you to know about it. Reyna. I'm sure Diaz would have wanted you to know too. He trusts you like that. Reyna, I know we've been through a lot ever since you mistook me for the Hero of Light. Claude. But I want to protect you. And I think that's the reason I've been put here right now. Claude. We've got incoming! reception we've got here. Still trying to put up a fight? Well, allow me to play along. Die, you rabble of fool! Careful now! Look out! Here they come! Dare! I will pull back for now. But when I return, you'll get a full taste of my wrath! Damn it! He got away! Well done, soldiers. I'm sure this little skirmish threw a serious monkey wrench into his plans. You think he'll be back? Well... I'm afraid we aren't much of a position to do anything, besides wait for him to strike again. Lieutenant Commander, sir. 
We've received word from Lacour. They're ready to install the energy stone into the Lacour Hope. What? Finally! They'll be deploying it to the frontline base ASAP. They're requesting that we hold out on our own till then. Hmm. All right. We'll just have to give the enemy everything we've got. The Lacour Hope. They're actually going to finish that thing. How many days has it been since the frontline base was first attacked? The infirmary's packed with the wounded. More and more of our men are winding up there every day. They've sent entire brigades worth of reinforcements to the base, but they're so green. Not even half of them are any use to us. What happened to the energy stone? Why isn't the thing here already? We got hostiles! They're flying in from the north! Are we ready to intercept them? The part of the army that's still on its feet anyway. They're already suited up and off to the field. Please, we'll need you to help them out as much as you can. I have to go now. Please, the monsters are closer than ever. We need your help. Where's the enemy? Not here yet, but they can't be more than 10 minutes away. There's too many of them. We don't have enough people to put up a fight. No time to whine. We just have to make do with what we have here. So we're just pawns used by the kingdom to buy them a little time. Don't die on me now. You too. There's no need to fight this pointless battle. Hey, Priestess! What do you want? Now's not the best time, you know. I was curious about all the features in the robot puncher you made, so I kind of built one myself. So? So, uh, try it out, okay? You kinda built one? You just can't stop being bratty about everything, can you? Oh well. Core Hope? How was that, everyone? That's the Lacour Hope in action. We won! We've got the Lacour Hope! We can win this war! We won! We won! Leon! Well, there you have it. The Lacour Hope. Pretty impressive, isn't it? 
Unbelievable. You made that? I sure did. Of course, I could have made it in just two days if I had everything I needed from the start. Confident as always, aren't you? Well, it's true. By the way, dude, Mom and Dad wanted to talk to you guys. Go check out what they want, okay? Oh, you're the group that retrieved the ore from the Hoffman ruins with Leon, correct? That's right. Oh, perfect. I was wondering where you were. So we heard. Can we help you with something? Now that the Liqueur Hope is operational, the King wants to have us invade the L Continent. We'd like to have you lend a hand in the effort. You're going to invade El? That's the plan. It's all but a foregone conclusion with the LaCour Hope on our side. We'll be falling back to LaCour Castle to work out a plan of operation. And we'll be needing you there, of course. Are you sure the frontline base has enough protection? We'll be keeping the LaCour Hope here at the base until we return. I'm sure the monster army isn't stupid. They're probably going to sit and watch our movements for a while. In fact, given their position, they might be preparing for a siege over in Illuria even as we speak. Well, that's the story. This war's ours for the taking. Ours for the taking? But there's still no time to lose. I'll also need the commander and lieutenant commander at Lacour Castle as soon as possible. I have called you all here for reasons that I'm sure you're well aware of. We have finally reached the point of no return. It is time to invade the land of El. Thanks to the tireless efforts of our research team, the Lacour Hope has been completed. With the Monster Horde now completely annihilated, it has proven its worth in battle. Now, I say, it is time to advance. I think you are correct, sire. The Lacour Hope has certainly demonstrated its strength at the very least. We must drive forward before the enemy has time to develop countermeasures. Our fleet is ready to leave Hilton and sail to the coast of Eloria at a moment's notice. I can have them on their way as soon as I receive the order, Your Majesty. The enemy's headquarters is presumed to be located in Eluria at present. That would naturally make Eluria our primary target. Our plan calls for landing on the beach northwest of Eluria. We'll have the Lacour Hope loaded on the fleet. Once everything's in place, we'll use it to level Eluria in a single blast. But what'll happen to everybody on El then? You're getting ahead of yourself. There is no reason to set the Lacour Hope sights on Eluria the moment we reach El. The first thing we'll do is dispatch a vanguard force to land on El. It's all in the plan of operations. We'll round up everyone we can find on El, make sure they're safe, and evacuate them offshore. Then and only then will we fire the Lacour Hope at Aluria. And firing it on the enemy is necessary in the meantime as well. We'd like to ask you to join the vanguard force landing on El ahead of the rest of our troops. The battleship will fire a blast with the Lacour Hope to clear out any monsters on the coast before dropping anchor. After that, the vanguard team will stage a landing and see to the people on El. If we could, we'd like you to postpone your sorcery globe investigation um, until this battle reaches its conclusion. Fair enough. It's settled then. Time will wait for us no longer. 
Load the Lacour Hope into our fleet at Hilton and set off for the Illurian coast immediately. Quite a launch. They're carrying the Lacour Hope on that fleet, you know. That's why they're being extra careful with it. You saw what that thing could do, didn't you? If they're being so careful with it, why is the Chief Architect standing here shooting the breeze with us? What do you think about all this? You mean invading El with the Lacour Hope? In terms of sheer firepower, we've certainly got the advantage. But you don't think the enemy's going to just fall on its knees and surrender, do you? We still don't know the full extent of their capabilities. Yes, we've defeated all the monsters we've encountered so far, but we don't have any idea if that's all they have up their sleeves. A very prudent perspective. My opinion's just about the same. What if all the monsters we've seen so far were nothing but the bottom tier minions? If you think about it that way, the outcome of this war is crystal clear. So what's it going to take to win this? Simple. Find the boss, strike him down, and make sure the monsters can never raise a horde again. I hope we'll have good news for each other next time we meet. We'll see about that. Hey, I'm trying to be optimistic here. Well, I'm glad you've still got the energy for it. I'll be helping out at the frontline base. Dias, he's gone. Reyna? I don't know why, but I have this strange feeling that I'm never going to see Dias again. Oh, come on. If it were anyone else, maybe. But this is Dias we're talking about. Port departure checklist. All hands on the ship. All hands on the ship. We need to get going. We'll be at the northwestern coast of Bell shortly. Get ready to land soon. The LaCour hopes all set to go. We can fire at the enemy anytime. I haven't seen any sign of the enemy yet, though. What do you make of that? We'll be passing our last line of defense soon. It may not be long now. Why did you have to take the child along? He's going to be a brilliant scientist someday, you know. Dude. Enemy sighted dead ahead. It's an aerial squadron. Stay calm. We got the Lacour Hope on our side. Lorith, prepare to fire the Lacour Hope. Okay. Ready, Leon? Ready, Mom. Energy reserves at 99.85%. We may fire when ready.
possible? The liqueur hope! It's not working! That's a defense shield! Like what they use on starships! What the hell? Are you hurt? I'm fine. But we've got nothing to fight back with. Here they come again! Be careful! Look out! Here they come! Pathetic, absolutely pathetic. I hope you enjoy your watery grave. Uh, uh. Idiots! You had no idea you were being lured out here for that weapon of yours. Our weapon? Damn you! Now... How shall I dispose of you? Leon! Hang on! We've lost them, sir. Forget it. I'm sure they're dead by now. We've subdued most of the remaining fleet, sir. There aren't many crew left alive. Perfect! Everything's going according to plan. This... this is what we needed! I have the energy stone! We are done here. They have nothing left to confront us with. Victory is ours! I feel so heavy. It's so dark. Everything's sinking. Or is it just me? I hear something soothing. Where am I? Waves? Where... where am I? I guess I'm still alive, but where? Oh, yeah, I was thrown into the sea, and then... Wait, where's everyone else? Oh no, am I the only survivor? Now I'm all alone again. Oh, Reyna. I can... I can hear somebody! Leon! Leon! Dude, where am I? 
Wish I could tell you. Wait, where's mom? Where's dad and your friends? No! You're kidding me, right? Everybody's gone? It's just us? Leon. Come on, tell me you're joking. It's just the two of us here? We're the only survivors? I don't know yet, Leon. Mom's gone? Dad's gone? No! No, I can't take that! No! No, 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 no! <laughs> Let's go look for them, Leon. I'm sure your parents are around here somewhere. Don't give me that crap! Nobody's around here anywhere! Nobody! Leon, stop it! Well, do you see anybody else? It's just us! Why are we the only survivors? Leon, calm down. Why couldn't I have died along with them? Shut the hell up! Don't you ever say that again! Don't you realize how many people are worried sick about you right now? Well, who? Mom? Dad? Your friends? They're all gone! They aren't gone. They just aren't here right now. That doesn't mean they're dead. There are monsters all over the place! We'll be killed! I'll take care of them. But... Look, use your head a little, okay? Calm down and think. You should know what we need to do next. See? Now you're getting it. The important thing is we're still alive. I'm sure everybody else is too. And if we're all still alive, chances are we all drifted ashore in the same general area. Don't you think it'd be better to go look for them instead of sitting here thinking about how dead they are? Great. Raina. Claude! You aren't hurt, are you, Claude? Nope. I'm all right. What about you guys? Are you all right? We all found ourselves right on the shore together. You were the only one who was missing, Claude. Huh? Wow! Anyway, don't you think that's enough of a hug there already? I don't think I can go on without you, Claude. Raina, I... Aw, <laughs> that's puppy love if I ever saw it. So you made your way here after running into Leon? Huh. What is it, Leon? Mom and Dad aren't here? Huh? Why are all of your friends here but not my mom and dad? Uh... They're gone, aren't they? Leon, you can't give up on them so soon. How do you know that? Uh... Your mother and father are fine. I'm positive. I just remembered. They told us we had to visit the chief of the settlement once we were all together. Oh? Did he want to ask us something? Probably. We haven't really explained who we are to them yet. All right. We could probably ask him about your parents, Leon. Okay.
Ah, the group I've heard so much about. Yes, we've found our missing companion, sir. Thanks for the support you've given everyone in my absence. Are you sure you're all right, though? We can always talk later if you're tired. Wait a minute. Are you from the core? Y yes we are Oh, I knew it! You're here to rescue us, right? Where's your ship? Well... Think about it. If they had something like that, why would they be here of all places? I'm sorry. What do you mean? He means that Lacour has also fallen to the monsters, right? Yes, I'm afraid so. No! It was inevitable. They're just too strong for us. Ever since the sorcery globe hit us, their strength has grown to unimaginable levels. I'd like to ask one question, if I could. What's that? What's the area around the Sorcery Globe Impact Zone like right now? Well, at first it was just a hole in the ground. Before long, however, monsters started appearing around the edge of it. After that, people started talking about how the globe itself was somehow giving birth to all of these hordes. Giving birth? The sorcery globe crashed into Luria and created a giant crater, leveling the surrounding area. Over half of the town was destroyed, just like that. But the people who died from the impact probably had it better than the survivors. Before long, the whole place was a monster nest. They were marauding the streets and breaking into people's homes. It was a nightmare. A monster nest? Within hours, the monsters took control of Iloria and made it their base of operations. The town's a total loss. That's horrible! Why? It's all because of that damn sorcery globe. None of this would have happened if that thing hadn't shown up. So the monsters are based in Iloria? Hmm? Yes, but what are you thinking about? Doing what we came here to do, of course. I'm not going to just sit here and watch. I don't give up that easily. Oh, Claude. Do, do you understand what you just said? Of course. We're going into Alluria and we're going to root this evil out at the source. And if it turns out to be the Sorcery Globe, then we'll destroy it. You're insane! How could you possibly do that? I don't think we have a choice. If we have any hope left, that's where it is. But Chief! Besides, that's what we kept the weapons for, isn't it? No matter how dim the hope might be, I think it's worth placing our bets on. I want to help you guys any way I can. We have a small supply of equipment in the armory next door. You can take with you whatever you might need. Thank you. Can I ask another question? Go ahead. Was there anyone else besides myself? getting washed ashore nearby? No, not yet. Uh. This might be too much to ask, but could you look after this boy in the meantime? Huh? This child was separated from his parents in the chaos. They might be brought to this settlement sometime soon. 
I think it'd be better if he waited for them here. He's too stressed out to go with us. Well, it's fine by us, but are you sure that's what you want? Well, you want to go with us anyway, Leon? Dude, I guess it wouldn't do to just abandon you in an unfamiliar place. Why don't you join us? We can have everyone in the settlement take care of your mom and dad when they show up. Okay, I'll go with you guys. All right, we've changed our minds then. Please take care of Leon's parents when you see them. Certainly. We have a search party heading for the shore right now to round up the other survivors. We'll find his parents, I promise you. Be careful out there, and good luck. Thanks. We'll have good news for you when we get back. Something I wanted to ask you. I found this on my way out of Illuria. What do you reckon it is? Hmm. I'd like to know too. It's an ID card. From a pretty advanced civilization too, I'd say. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, uh, I don't need it for nothing. Here. You take it. What could we possibly use this for? All readings normal, Admiral. Admiral, ETH destination is 8 hours, 27 minutes. Admiral, are you listening? Admiral, you've got to get yourself together. I know this is hard on you, but you have a duty to carry out here. We're on a mission, sir. We've been sent to investigate the energy activity in the Arcora system in Sector Theta. The high energy mass with the orbital period of 7,527 years and all that, yes, I know. That's correct. I'm glad to know you're still with us, sir. What? We're picking up an unidentified distress signal coming from Planet 4 of the Arcora system. What do we know about the planet? Class M. Population 1 billion. There have been some irregularities in its orbit lately, possibly due to activity from the high energy mass. Isn't the Arcora system still unexplored space? That should be the case, sir. There haven't been any reports of Vexpedition craft landing on the planet. Distress call captured. Putting it up on main screen. This is a Federation signal. ID number 00298. You're kidding me. Claude! 
your orders, Admiral. Maximum warp. Get this ship to Planet 4 and the Akura system now. Yes, yes sir. This is Aluria? This is terrible. The town's been leveled. What about this building? Claude? The pendant. It's lighting up again. You think it's responding to the sorcery globe? Let's keep moving. We can't afford to waste any more time. ID confirmed. Releasing door lock.
you hear that? Mm-hmm. Strange. Claude, I think it's coming from your pocket. Huh? Ah, there's, there's nothing in my pocket. You, you gotta be hearing things. It's working finally, but why now? What's wrong, Claude? Ah, I, uh... Oh, listen, Reyna, do you mind if I take a look around this floor for a bit? There's something about it that's bothering me. Um, sure, if you want to, Claude. Just remember, we don't have much time. What is this place? Reyna, what is that? Is your pendant lighting up? Huh? No, no, I don't think it's lighting up now. Do now? Do you read? Please respond. Communicator. Ensign Kenny, service number 00298. This is the Calmness. Coordinates 33126. Claude? Whoa, 10, what? Nine. Whoa, 10. what? Eight. Wait, no, Seven. no, I, I can't leave like this! gonna get caught in it! One, what are you talking two, about, two. Claude? Claude! What is it? What's going on? I swear! I swear I'll come right back! Right here. Dad, Kurtzman. Claude. Why did you transport me here without any warning? What if there was someone standing next to me? You're right. I'm sorry. Calm down, Claude. The Admiral just wanted to get you out of there as quickly as possible. It's nothing to get angry about. I know that, sir, but still. We were just worried about you, you know, disappearing on us like that. I'm just glad you're still in one piece. Are you hurt at all? No, sir. I'm all right. Good. You should get a checkup later on just to make sure everything's okay internally. You never know what kinds of viruses they might have down there.
Wait a minute. There's something I need to do. You can tell me about it later. I need you over in the bridge now. Dad, wait! I can't be here right now. Please, you need to send me back down to Expel. Expel? The planet I was just on! Are you kidding me? That's an underdeveloped planet down there. I don't care! My friends down there are in trouble, and I need to get back to them right now! Get a grip on yourself, Claude. You do remember what you learned in officer school. Under no circumstances are you allowed to interact or interfere with an underdeveloped planet. Please, Dad! Ensign Kenny, you are to report to the bridge. That is an order. Dad! Let's go, Claude. You're a very lucky man, Claude. When we picked up your distress signal in the Arcura system, we were shocked. The Arcura system? There's a high energy mass that passes through the Arcura system once every 7,000 years or so. We were sent here to observe the mass, get some readings on it, and so forth. A high energy mass? Is that something similar to the sorcery globe? Admiral, Planet 4 has gone off its orbital path. It's starting to move towards the energy mass. At their current trajectory, they'll collide within 80 minutes. What?
What's going on? Settle down, Claude. You're a Federation officer. Can't let your emotions take over. Take a look at the display, Admiral. It's just a matter of time before their paths cross. The energy mass, Class 9, enough to vaporize Planet 4 without leaving even a bit of space dust. No! Why is this happening? Claude. This isn't the sorcery globe messing with things again, is it? Dad, I've got to get back to Expel as soon as possible. I need to help my friends. Are you crazy? Didn't you hear what I just said? Planet 4 will be history soon. 75 minutes to collision. I'm sorry, Claude, but I can't let you go back there. Well, could there be some way we can push Expel back to its original orbit? There's nothing we can do. Let it go, Claude. Claude. Then let me say goodbye to everyone. I've been fighting by their side this whole time. It's the least that I can do for them. You understand me, don't you, Dad? Didn't you tell me about the friends you had? The friends you fought with back in the day? All right, that's what you've decided. Dad! Admiral! Trajectory updated. 70 minutes remaining until collision. That's more than enough time. We'll be bringing you back in five minutes. Make sure you're fully separated from everyone by then. Got it. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. I have? But let's talk later. I'm sending you down. Dad, thanks. This is where I need to be. Claude! Reyna, it's been two hours. Do you really think we should keep waiting? Claude? Where did you go? Sorry I made you guys worry. Why did you go off by yourself like that? Why don't you ever pay attention to other people's feelings? I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. Ugh! Forget it! We need to get out of here. Huh? I don't have time to explain. We have to get off this floor as soon as possible. I won't pretend to know why, but whatever you say. Okay, I'm ready. Claude, isn't that your... Yep, my communicator. I don't need it anymore. Reyna? Welcome back, Claude. Thanks, Reyna. That's five minutes. All right, get him back up here. Oh. 
What the hell? Admiral, there's nobody at the target transport point. What? What happened to him? The only explanation is that he removed his communicator, sir. Oh, no. Get a security team down there immediately. I want him taken back here. Use force if necessary. But, sir, we only have 60 minutes before collision. Then use whatever time's left to find him. There's plenty of time before the collision. Please, Admiral, you need to calm down. Yes, we still have 60 minutes until the collision, but the energy mass's gravitational pull is going to destroy the planet long before that point. I can't even begin to imagine the level of cosmic radiation that mass is bombarding the planet with right now. Are you willing to put the security team's lives in danger for your personal reasons, sir? I apologize. I shouldn't have lost my cool there. bunch of fools, aren't you? I didn't think anyone would survive falling off the ship. You've killed thousands, and now you're gonna pay for it. Oh, really? Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not letting you go any further. This tower is going to be your grave.
What is that? Wait a second. Claude, that must be the sorcery globe. Don't move. Stay where you are. Why does this little girl have possession of the quadratic key? The only key in existence is the one whose core we created and crystallized. Who are you people anyway? Look out! I told you to stay where you are. We know you can understand us. Claude, stay with me. That healing power! Are you a Nidian? Median? What are you talking about? Who are you? My, my, how uncivilized. You people are just as underdeveloped as this planet. Flying into a rage at the drop of a hat? No. From what I can tell, this boy is not an Expellion at all. I would say he is probably from Earth. Forgive my rudeness, but what is an Earthling doing so far out on the edge of the universe? I couldn't venture a guess. Well, the Earthling is not alone. There's a Tetrageniate among them. What are you people talking about? An Earthling? The universe? Claude? Hmm. No, I doubt you would understand any of this. Allow me to explain. That boy next to you is not from Expel at all. He is a native of another planet. Another... planet? Yes. The stars up above, those celestial bodies you thought were mere points of light, are home to a wondrous variety of living creatures. Earth and Expel are just two such planets. But that matters not. For we are from need, just as you are. to them, Reyna. What are you people here for anyway? Were you the ones that destroyed Illuria? I see no reason to tell you of our plans. What? Besides, you're too late. This planet's already on a collision course with need. Even if we told you everything, you couldn't do a thing to stop us at this point. Collision? What are you doing this for? Are you trying to destroy the whole planet? Your shallow, trivial thoughts. 
What could destroying a single frontier planet accomplish? This is merely a single step in the road taking us back to need. It is all part of the road map that will bring us back our powers and restore us as rulers of the galaxy. You're taking over the galaxy? Yes. Not that I expect mere insects such as yourselves to comprehend. The time is near. In a matter of minutes, this planet will collide with need. Why? Why did you choose this planet out of all the billions that are out there? This planet was located closest to Need's orbital path. No other reason. Our tool is the Quadratic Sphere, the thing in your world you call the Sorcery Globe. That was what was used to shift the planet's plane of orbit. And that is what will make this planet collide with Need. We had no idea that there was also a quadratic key housed on this planet. Our plans have been accelerated a hundred years thanks to this stroke of luck. What's this quadratic key you're talking about? A crystallized symbological stone. Um, you called it an energy stone. It's hanging off your neck right now. Perfectly reasonable for a Needian such as yourself to have one of those. Only the Needians have the knowledge required to construct a quadratic key. But enough of this! You'll all be dead in a second. Not if I can help it. I'm going to take out all of you and stop this madness before it gets any worse. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but even if you could beat us, Expel's fate is already set in stone. I don't know that till I try. So you really are that stupid. Hey you, go deal with him for me. You appear to have a death wish, boy. I suppose we can at least grant him the kindness of a quick and relatively painless death. Let me take care of this. I can handle this by myself. I am Metatron of the Ten Wise Men, and fighting me will be the greatest achievement you'll ever have. Playtime is over. You see, we're now within teleport range of Planet Need, and so I must bid you fools farewell.
Ironix. I turned my back on a billion people and my own son. But this collision is the result of natural causes, as unusual as they may be. I know your own child's involved in this, but I'm afraid there's just nothing to be done about it. Uh. This was an unexplored region of space, Admiral. There's no point having regrets about it now. Kurtzman. Claude went down there of his own volition. That's what he wanted from the moment we transported him back here. We all know there was nothing we could do to save the billions of people down there. This planet was doomed to extinction from the start. Damn it. Why does science have to be so useless? Everything is well. We have returned to need. But those little pests have joined us for the ride. We could not have prevented it. They were right there with us. It was our fault for not being able to kill them. Well, you want them dead? It looks like they've landed somewhere far away. Leave them. They're helpless at this point. That much is true. Their days are certainly numbered either way. But that needy and girl bothers me. What was she doing on that planet? I don't know. There was supposed to be no escape route from Need. Uh, not in its current state. She's just a girl. A single girl could hardly be called a problem for us. So, everything according to plan, then. Indeed. But we cannot afford to rest easy. Things have yet to even begin. Yes. Where am I? Is this heaven? Raina, you all right? Oh. Claude. Where are we? I haven't seen anything like this before. I... I don't know. You don't think this is heaven, do you? No. It's not heaven at all. We're on the planet Need, in a place called the Outer Gardens. This is need? Oh, no! Reyna! You all right? I'm fine. This way. Reyna, what's going on here? I don't know. All I know is we should be going this way. It must be something your needy and heritage is telling you. I can't really tell, but there's something about the air. It makes me feel so calm. I feel like all my worries just fly away. Like I've known this place ever since I was young. That's why I think we're on need right now. Speaking of which, Claude, why'd you come to Expel in the first place? 
I... Uh, there was an accident. And somehow I got transported from where I was to expel. And then I ran into Reyna in the sacred forest. And it all went from there. Oh. Well, that's not a big deal at all. I doubt anyone else around here cares either way. Yeah, thanks. We aren't gonna get anything done if we just sit around here. So, let's take a look around. You know, I wonder how Dad and everyone are doing. Not too well. No doubt about that. Nothing could have survived that collision. Don't worry. I'm sure they're doing just fine. Bet they can't wait for us to get back home, too. Reyna. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's right. That's why we've got to get moving and figure out what's going on around here. Right. What's that? It looks like some kind of device. Please, come inside. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Just go on inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. What was that? A transporter? I don't get it. Let's try it. Reyna? It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. Well, it's not like things can get any worse if we go. Here goes. Where is this? I don't know. Wow, this place is weird. Well, might as well get out. I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centro what? We... we are on need, aren't we? Oh, this is need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? What are you, crazy? Of course not! We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. M meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? The need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as energy need, an artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, Planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, 
The people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there live those with evil minds. They call themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The ten fanatical madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The needy and armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Nidian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces. And in the process, the Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to energy need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The Ten Wise Men escaped from their banishment into Eternity Space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of Eternity Space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the Ten Wise Men. Yes, they are led by the all-powerful Gabriel, with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did. 
but the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy, and they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had, the power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So you're asking us to help you out? That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. It sounds good to me, then. Sounds good, then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as Synards. Synards? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. I'd say it's time to visit North City, then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I wonder what Rain is talking about in there. We probably shouldn't be thinking about it. Well, I guess, but... Rain is about to face up to herself for the first time in her life. This isn't something we can really help her out with. Claude. Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, I didn't mind. Claude, on the other hand. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm just kidding. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm all right. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. We're going to North City first, then. That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think.
Ah, uh, they saw me. Who was that woman? 